So I beat it in under an hour. I think my best time so far has been like 38 minutes. I don't have the little timer, um, like speed run timer. See how this goes. I'm not good. I'm not good at this Are game. So with feelings of self-doubt. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Yeah, I have no way to sum this up. It's uh, 840 right now. So we're going to try to get done before 8 or 9, 10, 9, 15. It doesn't count loading screens and stuff, though. start the 915 terms of service accepted congratulations on falling asleep welcome to somnasculpt your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists this orientation will adapt you to eyelids our interactive lucid induction dream state wish in which you retain full consciousness and control I wish I had it on um, PC because a mouse would be much better on this. The uh, controller is kind of tough. Uh, I don't think I can jump that. Oh, nice. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. <laughs> I love the dialogue. These, uh, these last two games that I've played have just had like such excellent dialogue. It's huge. All right, and jump. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I, I have already informed small. you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Just use one of those boards. I'm gonna make this super small. That extra small. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Shoot. So close. Please stand by for polite that's, recognition on your completion that's always of such the a one. orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic right. journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Okay. 
Okay. Knock over the walls. And then I'm going to go down the shaft here. Boom. First section done. Four minutes. Three three minutes-ish. I mean, speed run. I don't know. I've seen um, speedrun videos where they have uh, the buttons that they're pushing. I think that's pretty cool. I, I, I'm not really a speedrunner, so it would be, but it would be neat to have that. You're gonna see by the end of this that I'm not a speedrunner. I just happen to like this game, so. Ah. I happen to like this game, so I know it a little bit better than most games. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. I should have said in the in the uh, title. I should have said, "Come make fun of me." Because <laughs> it's ridiculous. I know if they, if I was Hello. like a legit My name speed is Dr. runner. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still, still don't, don't know, know, but. Please keep moving forward, and hopefully, you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. <laughs> Once I finish this, then I'll go and, and start doing the um, special item. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. All right, here we go. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, Please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant. Eight forty eight, so we're eight minutes in. I feel like this stream is going to kill my my average viewer count whatever who cares this is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of somnasculpt therapy but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead Got to get the dice. Imply a failure of orientation Gotta which jump reflects on the negatively dice. on the standard orientation protocol uh, you will rectify this failure uh, immediately. Get that. Uh. Oh, yeah. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. And gotta get 
that and that and that and that and you could get that jump down here get this guy that over there professional tip the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Explosive. Alright, that has to go down, this has to go over. Ah! Jack that up. Oh, come on! Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with uh. explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far what more traumatic heck? and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Jump down here. Oh man. Okay, I gotta go this way. Oh. Oh, did my video go away? What the hell? can't do two things at once. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. You guys Why don't care do I feel like me. everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Excuse me. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. I'm going to reset the camera once I get to a loading screen. Warning, you were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. This part always kind of makes me sick. All right. I want I can skip. There we go. 
Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. Trying to reset the camera now. Put it on the button. Oh, shoot. Sorry about the camera. I really, I really just can't mess with it right now. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Come on. Oh, come on. Yep, there we go. Smiley face. For some reason that that level that room is super hard for me. Ooh, come on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. This one's pretty simple. Warning, Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Um, oh. Dang. Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To All right, how about this? Better than nothing, right? Ah, oh, shoot. I always mess that one up. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. So I got it. I gotta be big enough to get up that ledge. 
and then I gotta be small enough to get through the next door. So I gotta make this guy bigger. Oh yeah. I think I'm small enough. Let's see. Oh, just barely. That was close. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Making my way downtown. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. Oh, uh, this one's hard. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human uh. nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. It's hard. That's hard. I don't know. I always have a hard time with it. Oh, now I'm way too small. Come on. Let's go a little faster. I've got... 14 minutes. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Okay, now I gotta get this guy. Where you at, bro? Come on. Come on. Okay. Please. Okay. I've gone in there before where I was just slightly too tall for the elevator. And I was stuck in that, in that hallway. Sorry for the camera trouble. The, the camera that's right in front of me is messed up somehow. different emergency exit protocol initiated please prepare to conclude your somnascult experience in 10 9 8 error error logged by orientation protocol stand by for analysis error analysis complete you are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear hopelessness and frustration this is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. 
Impossible. Reformulating. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. <laughs> Instruction. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Oh gosh. Oh shoot. I forgot. Dang it. Ah, oh, damn it. No. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Okay. You're right. We're good. We're here. We're doing it. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Uh... Okay. Just trying to make it under 35 minutes. Just trying to get the achievement. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire Let's scenarios see. with Here solutions that could not be found otherwise. There we go. Boom, that was pretty clean. Having some, having some, uh, Having some camera troubles, so sorry for the camera angle. Is it's weird. Back in business. Sort of. All right. Yeah. There you go. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. I don't know the path by heart. I know I know some some people know it. I still have to follow the arrows because I'm 
dumb. Ah, here we go. There we go. Okay. Right. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching. All right, I gotta go to this corner. Dream weight. Gotta go to this corner and then back up. So that's the way to do it. You find that corner and then you back up and then eventually the thing will spawn. Boom. There it is. See that? Gotta go hit that clock. If I can. Oh. Loading. It's making me sweaty. Ah, this is high. This one you gotta visual. get this. It appears you have entered the sun asculp uh, diagnostic framework. Make it big. Patients do not have access to this dream. I'm not very good at this. Where the oh, there it is. Make it big. Big enough to walk through. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream oh integrity fail state state state. Doing terrible. Come on. There it is. Walk through it, grab it, turn it around. I don't know if you have to turn it around. But stick it in there and you create a paradox and then it breaks the world. Any explosive dream overload. Obey result. Please paradox overload. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go straight. Once it, once it lets us, then we're going to go into this. We're going to go up those stairs into that little entryway. We're gonna fall down. There's something there. Oh. I don't remember. Oh, I gotta remove the thing. I don't really know the game that well. I played it a couple times now. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, all right. I had a dream. We're I cutting found close. In a place I know I the loading that each of us begins. The as loading nothing, times didn't count. Where so. everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. So we're at nine twelve. We said at the beginning nine fifteen. But that was, so it's 9.12, but including, um, including, uh, shoot, I can never remember. Yeah, here it is. Including, uh, loading times. So I go through this window, I walk a little bit, and then eventually I'm going to pick it up. Use the box to get up there. Yeah. And then over space, here there's a switch. I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Uh. Okay. So now I'm going to go through the stairs, up the stairs, 
down the hall, to the left. Oh, down this thing apparently, around the blue corner, into the doorway, through the courtyard. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you ah, won't get this one always trips me up. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't I... that why you came here? I have to aim so delicately. Okay. Grab that, put that there. Grab this, put this there. Stand on the next one, grab that. Put that there, and then run. We're almost there. Oh, this one's tough too. I always take a long time on this one. I can't do like any kind of sneaky um, shortcuts. I just make the cheese big and jump. And I don't know where the door is, so I'm just going to kind of go through here and be next to a wall and see if it, hope it's the right one. Yes, we were close. Down the trippy hallway. Turn to the left. Turn around, grab this, go down the red thing. Turn it around. Go through there. And it's 8 a.m. in the morning. The last thing I got to do is I got to turn off the alarm clock. And I have to do it quickly. Hopefully. I think we might have done it. It's 9.16. This is so close. Let's see if I got the achievement. Ah. Yes! Look at that! Beat the game in under 35 minutes. Woo! Yeah! You done got it beat, Tiny Toilet? My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so we do All the right. same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. See, you can be terrible like me and still get those. Still get that achievement. Uh. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. 
because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. in the real world. Some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. a game thank you so much for the follow I'm sorry that my camera's wonky your whisper message oh, okay give me a sec <laughs> 